Hi everyone, it's uh, Andrew and Ian from Axiom, and we have some very exciting news today in that we're releasing a new speaker product. Really two new speaker products, but based on the same theme. And we've had requested a number of times for a really a high-powered bookshelf, and we wanted to um, bring out something that was similar to our tower systems, like an M60, but in a more condensed cabinet. And we also thought it would be a good idea at the same time to bring out a QS surround version of this product as well. So pictured here are everything except the in-wall version of our new M5 and the uh, surround product we're gonna be calling a QS10. So essentially in these versions, there's the on-wall, then the in-wall not shown here and uh, the bookshelf model. And then here we have the QS10, and it also uses a six and a half inch driver. And other than that, it's a full, full three-way version of a QS8, really. So this allows you to um, really have a full range, high powered surround speaker in your system. And uh, I'll let Andrew talk to a bit of the, uh, the guts of these products. Thanks. Thanks, Ian. Uh, the core of all of these models is based around a woofer that we originally developed for our flagship product, the LFR 1100. Um, we've now launched that as an available option in all of our tower models so that you can get an M60 or an M80 with these so-called HP or high power six and a half inch drivers. I have one here. It's a pretty serious motor system. And compared to our stock driver, which has good excursion and good power handling, this is just taking that to the extreme. We have an inch and a half voice coil, higher excursion, lower distortion, and it's a perfect driver to put in products like this that are kind of flagships for what they are. What will become our top bookshelf model, the M5, and the top QS model, the QS10. Now, you'll note that all three of these, as Ian mentioned, are three-way speakers. And the reason that we're doing that is that we get a better, more linear family of curves because of the wider dispersion of the smaller dedicated mid-range driver compared to, let's say, a six and a half inch woofer crossing over directly to a tweeter like it does in our M3 bookshelf. So that gives you a much wider sound stage and it gives much more linear and accurate presentation of the audio. We've carried that through in the QS10, where if you remember in the QS8, the five and a quarter inch woofers are actually the woofers. They're producing the mid-range frequencies and the low frequencies, and all of that motion can create some distortion in the mid-range. Here in the QS10, the two five and a quarter inch drivers at the top and bottom of the cabinet are in their own sealed enclosures. They're acting as true mid-ranges. The woofer now, the six and a half inch front mounted woofer, is taking the job of producing all of the base information. So you get much more linear, lower distortion product. The biggest thing with these models compared to let's say a QS8 or the M3 for instance, we're gonna have better low frequency performance and far higher power handling than those models. I look at the M5 as being perfect for applications where you just can't fit a floor standing model, uh, but you wanna have the ultimate in Axiom sound quality. And this will give you that. The QS10 is perfect for people who have an all out state of the art home theater system and are demanding a surround channel that has the ability to produce a real bass output. So we think these new products are gonna be really, really big uh, improvements to the existing product line, and hopefully you'll enjoy them. You can always comment down below in the, uh, in the video to let us know what you think, and we'll be talking about it on our, on our message boards on our forum. Thank you very much.